I, I already put a couple win total bets in. Did you? Yeah. Um, I took the Ravens over. I took the Lions over. I'm looking hard at the Steelers over. I don't like betting all okay. these overs, Steve, personally. Um, I, Yeah. It's easier to root it, for teams to lose. Correct. <laughs> it is. I know. Yeah. Especially in that league, too. Yeah. Um, I do, like, I know it's boring, but, like, the Chiefs, I think, still at 11 and a half. Like, they're not going worse than 12-5. and five. They got, what is it, three toughest games are the Bills, Bengals, and Eagles. And all three of them, those they get at home. Yeah. And Mahomes is 27-3 and three in his career against the AFC West. Yeah. You know, like, I just, I, I don't see those guys uh, having a tough time. I, I like I like the Saints over. What's uh, that at? They play the te- uh, nine and a half. Okay. Is that because of the division? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I would think minimum four and two against the division. Five, five and one is probably a lock. They get the Texans, Colts, Bears, and Titans. They have four games against the top three quarterbacks that were just picked. And if the, and if you know, depending where the Titans are, they could play Levis too. I don't know, man. I, I'm looking at the division, and it feels like one of one of those things where we might be, you know, uh, underestimating how frisky. The Falcons could be, and or, or how frisky the Panthers could be if this kid's ready to play at all, because that defense is stacked. I'm not saying it's going to be a cakewalk, but you know, five mm-hmm. and one, eh, it feels a little bit uh, ambitious. Yeah. I, okay. Bucks are going to be. I, Bucks I, are going to be a dumpster really fire. I'm really interested in the Falcons. Bucks are going to be a dumpster really fire. Am. Bucks dumpster fire. Caleb Williams. Oh God. Fast. Yeah. It'd be a shame. I. I yeah, I, I don't see them having much success, if any. Um, uh, I, I like the Jags over. I do too. Nine and a half. I, I like the yep. I like the Bucks under. I mean, you get. I mean, I called it a dumpster fire. There's a few here, dude. I mean, and it's about that time of year. The Rams six and a half. That's going to be an interesting one. I I, I got to feel like a lot of people are going to bet the over there. Ugh, have fun. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You know. Yeah. I, I mean, I just. I wonder what Stafford has left. And Vegas respects Atlanta, eight and a half. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Well, they, I mean, yeah. When, What's going on when they start? You know, the I don't get into all the analytics, but like when you start looking at what, <laughs> who they're playing yeah. and the percentage, you know, division games and stuff like that, they they are set up better yeah. than the other two teams for yeah. sure. Broncos in, in Carolina and uh, Tampa. Broncos eight and a half, but Sean Payton is the uh, second favorite for Coach of the Year. I don't know. Something done that up there. Come back, coach of the year. No, coach of the year. Just, just coach of the year, man. <laughs> Think about it. You're sitting on a gold mine when it comes to winning that award. I mean, like you, you could fix Russell Wilson, uh, the whole thing. I mean, and people respect the hell out of him, so they're going to be watching. Uh, there was one I liked here. Oh, um, Vegas under maybe. Yeah, you know, like I haven't seen it move since Jimmy G news. Some books moved it to six and a half. It had been seven and a half. Yeah, got, okay. So it moved. The Raiders whole game. got four trips to the Eastern Time Zone. Maybe they go two and four. They play Rogers and Allen outside the division. Yeah. They also got to go to Chicago. Yeah. Uh, I don't think Jimmy G is going to be healthy for ten plus games. And Brian Hoyer's their backup. Yeah, that's a tough one. I got the under there. Which darling would you rather zag on and go under? Seahawks or Lions? Seahawks eight and a half, Lions nine and a half. Well, kind of answers. I mean, like, yeah, I already bet the Lions. I, I wouldn't bet the under I, on either of these guys, but definitely I think the Seahawks. I, mean, I, I think I'm actually, I mean, when we were doing all the, the Rodgers Jets stuff, like I'm way more interested in the Packers with that. Yeah. I, I just, like, now we're really going to see – what LaFour brings to the table, you know, uh, they're, they're super, you know, you know, super high on K, on, on J- Jordan Love, and we we just haven't seen it. Yeah. You know, those guys are there every day. And when you look at that division, now now you talk about pressure, the Lions are putting a lot on themselves. You know, what they did in the draft, what you know, how Campbell goes about things, good for him. I mean, that's the way he wants to be, bring it, good. But I, I just think the Packers, the roster is still pretty good to yeah. me. And I like what they did in the draft. Uh, and, you know, I, I think Minnesota is a team that comes way back. Yep. You think? Wow, okay. Uh, because I had um, 
My guy Barnwell had a, had an awesome note that I that I was reading. Is that Vikings number Vikings. really eight and a half? Wow, dude! Yeah. I, it, they were at oh, wow. thirteen and yeah, four and were eleven and zero in games know. decided by one. But they score. can't get to nine and that, eight. I'd rather bet the under. That's insane. I'd rather bet the under. And I think the division's tough. Just, I, I think it's good. Look, I'd rather bet the under. Unless that ju- – They do play the uh, NFC South. Uh, yeah, I'd, but, you know, I, I don't know, man. I, I feel like – do you think Kirk Cousins is going to be the quarterback there in two years? So how many games do you think they're going to win? No. You know? Uh, I mean, they could win 10, 11 games and he could lose a playoff game. But, you know, I think everybody knows they're going in a different direction at some point here soon, and that could play out in and how I they – I feel like ev- that whole other division is, is on the up. Uh, yeah, up. so I don't know. You know? I don't know. I bet a lot of people are on the over. I, I, if I had to, I'd probably bet the under, and I've made a killing on the Vikings every year. Yeah, you're, you're, you are a Viking. I'm a Viking. Mm. Prognosticate. Yeah, dude. I know. They played Eagles, Niners, Bengals, Chiefs, and Chargers. Yeah, no cakewalk. Steve, no. who do you think's under the most pressure in the NFL this year? Josh Allen. Mm. I wasn't in love with him last year. Yeah. I, I don't think – I thought the defense was was obviously the problem. Uh, I don't like the antics and things we saw in the field with Diggs. I don't know what's going on there. Um, I just – I feel like that's another one. The division is all getting better. I mean, people are – you could write off New England all you want. They're still going to be a pain in the yeah. ass. I don't care what anyone says. They are going to be a pain in the ass to play. Uh, I don't – I know that, you know, they made a bunch – what, they get Floyd today as a pass yep. rusher? Shane uh, Ray's back. You know, they, <laughs> yeah. Dude, I, man, I'm not laughing, you know, because uh, it's just wild. I forgot about Shane Ray. It's been five years. Yeah, yep. and he got Ed Oliver back. Uh, and, well, they, they got Puna Ford Puna too, Ford. right? Somebody else, Steve. Somebody else. They got Von Miller back. Dalton Kincaid. Dalton Kincaid. Oh, Dalton yeah. Dalton right. Kincaid. That's right. Mm-hmm. Maybe the best tight end in the draft. <laughs> Maybe. No, I don't know. I, I still like Michael Mayer. Um, yeah, I, I think, uh, you know, Mac's going to be under a lot of pressure, man, I, you know, like immediately. But I think he's actually going to thrive because I think Bill will help. Um, yeah, he has a coach, yeah. man. You so know? the pressure doesn't, Bill like, I, if, you, if you said, hey, I'm, I'm going to put you under a hot lamp, but you actually have a guy who can call an offense. Yeah, and by the that's way, done it before. I still love Matty P and everything. I just don't think it was no a great doubt. situation. Him and Joe Judge, like, that was like, you know, one of those things that as a coach I might not have even done. Uh, Matt's down there in Philly now. I ran into him uh, last week. It's funny as hell to see him in uh, in, in Midnight Green. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I, think, I think Bill's under pressure. You know, I'm not saying he's going to, you know, he's the GOAT. He's not going to lose his job. But I do think... A couple years after Tom, you know, like people want to see them around the corner, especially, you know, talking about him as the greatest coach of all time, which he is in my book, but there are people that want to poke holes in it. And this year would be a big year for them to get back in the playoffs. Aaron's Aaron's obviously under a lot of pressure, you know, obviously he's going to be the biggest story. Um, Mm -hmm. I think it goes well, but I think he's under a lot of pressure. Mike McCarthy's seat seems to be perpetually hot. Yeah, it's hot. Good one. Yeah. Very That's good one. Hot. I, uh... Dak as well. Dak as well. Yeah. Dak as well. It's just not a not a team to get you can get excited about, you know? Except for 11 mm. on the defensive side of the ball. Yeah. Just sort of, eh. Well, they've proven it's hard to get over the hump for them for whatever reason. They're always good. I was going to say Kyle Shanahan. And John Lynch even more so, I think. I mean, you know, like uh, they've done a great job. They've got a little bit of quarterback cover, injuries. I know, but it's almost to a point where it's like, all right, we'll secure the position, you know, like make it a priority. And, you know, we'll see what's going on with uh, health there at quarterback. But, like, Sam Darnold, uh, I don't know, man. So – I think it's more the compounding effect of like wasting talent. Everybody's favorite job that's never open, Brandon Staley, LA Chargers. Yep. Yep. Definitely going to be under a lot of pressure. I mean, it was surprising to me that they, all they did was throw a new coordinator at that. Um, but, you know, talking about odds, I like Justin Herbert MVP odds. Mm. I mean, I, I, I put in a bet, I forget where it was, but um, 
I mean, you never know, dude. I, these are not big bets. <laughs> it was like plus 800 or something. You get service down on the river? Yeah, no, no. No, I don't. No, uh, no the red phone okay. only. <laughs>